Hi, I'm Dan Herbert and I'm a tutor and course developer at Point Blank Online. In part two of this video processing series within Ableton, we're going to continue looking at Visible. I'm going to check out how to trigger video clips across your keyboard and also look at the technique known as chroma keying, which is the process behind green screening. I'm going to take you through the various steps now to set it all up and if you're interested in more tutorials or a range of Ableton courses, make sure you head over to pointblankonline.net. So we're going to start off by looking at how to trigger movie clips using Visible. So let's just uh, group all these and shrink them down. And then I'm going to come over to here to Visible.Player and drop this in. And it opens up Max for Live. So when using this device you'll need some QuickTime movies and they're best set to 25 frames per second with Photo JPEG compression. So what it's asking us to do is to drop a folder in this area here. Okay, So these could be movies you've created or if you haven't got any movies you can download them from various places on the internet. So for example archive.org there's a whole variety of different videos. So I've just selected these kind of VJ loops and downloaded them to my hard drive Okay, and then opened up that zip file and in there's a whole variety of different files. I've also downloaded a video of George Bush and also put that into that folder. Let's open up Ableton again. Open up the finder and just move that across. So I'm going to click on this folder and don't let go and then drag it across to this area here and you can see there's a little green button with a plus icon on it and then just drop it in there and what that does is it maps all these different videos to different keys on your keyboard so if I just enable that track Thank you all for there's uh, George W so as you can see I'm playing C1 down there that's triggering George if I go up a semitone there's another video another video and you can see this being reflected in this menu down here. So all the way across the keyboard I've got access to these different video clips. Okay, Depending on the speed of your computer it's how fast you'll be able to trigger those and also on the compression settings on the video. At the moment you can see this is looping if you don't want it to loop then you can turn that off Okay, and then essentially that would be one hit. Thank you all for coming. This is, uh, this is and then it'll stop or we could go to ping pong so he'll play forward and then play backwards probably makes a bit more sense that way <laughs> uh, and then turn it off okay so you've got different options there so you can see the potential here you can either use videos with audio uh, and that'd be great perhaps for making some politically motivated track or you might be interested in something more experimental where you perhaps have more abstract video with sound combined or you can just use it for standard triggering of visuals. The other way to select videos, you've got to select control down here and if you hit the fire then that's similar to play. What we're going to do is actually trigger it using MIDI notes and create a clip. As well as the different videos you can also adjust the rate, the playback speed. Um, so if we go back to old George, pull the rate down, down to about half yeah or even slower and you can hear the audio is being pitched down as well or we can play them back faster okay so let's set that back to one is the default I'm just holding down the command key to get finer control on that so this device allows us to trigger movie clips either by using MIDI notes or by using the select control and the fire button here so what I want to do now is actually combine two different video sources and we'll make use of some mixer devices to do this so let's create another MIDI track so shift command T and I'm just going to use the grabber drop him in so there's the feed from the webcam and I'm also going to put in the crossfader okay so visible.xfader now the important thing with mixers is you can select two sources so in one is set to auto and that will automatically connect up input 2 at the moment set to none so let's choose video 2 
and we'll then need to go over to here and switch the output to video 2. So it's exactly the same principle as you used to with sends and returns. Okay, so now I should find I'll be able to move the crossfade and if I trigger the video by playing a note, that is now coming through on this channel and we can crossfade between my face and the other videos here. Okay, so that's the standard crossfading. Let's just put in a, a viewer module as well so we can see everything a bit better. There we go. So crossfader is fairly standard. We've also got some effects based mixers. So visible dot operator. Let's drop this one in. So again we've got two video sources, video in two. Now unfortunately you just choose from this menu here and I need to trigger the other video. In fact rather than me just playing the keyboard, it's probably easiest if I just come over here. Let's rename that V player and create a clip. I'm just going to draw some notes in. So as you can draw MIDI notes in, obviously everything can be synchronized and I'm going to pull this down, I think around D2. There we go. So we've got our two video sources and we can choose the different operators. And you're going to get different effects. Depending which function you actually choose. Another interesting device which mixes two sources is the chroma key. This is also known as green screening. Okay, and will combine the two videos and applies a mask. So you can already see the videos looking slightly strange. Probably the best way for me to uh, demonstrate this, I've got a red book here. Okay, and I'm going to click in this second window and click on, on the red. Okay, and that's going to set up the mask. So if I press play, let's bring down the tolerance right down and also the fade. Push the tolerance up a bit. So you can see it's combining the video only on the red also on my red tomato as well but my forehead hasn't got any video on at all okay so whenever it finds that red color it will automatically map the video onto it and combine the two different sources so if we choose a slightly more ambiguous color let's choose the wall behind me then things start to go a bit crazy so the color of my forehead around here and parts of my arm and hand also have similar colors so it starts to get slightly confused so the tolerance is how much it kind of ignores um, or lets the signal through okay on those specific colors and the fade well it's fairly self-explanatory so you get a slightly softer uh, kind of vibe okay the, when you have fade really low it goes quite digital okay so this is chroma keying it combines two different sources in fact let's try my forehead and you can get some quite crazy trippy effects using chroma keying. Okay, so we've got our video playing back here. Let's press play. That's rooted out on video two. The chroma keying here is combining the video feed from the grabber with the video two feed. And then depending on these settings here, let's go full screen what type of effects you'll actually get. So that's how to mix different video sources together. You can either use a standard video mixer or you can explore some of these effects based mixers like chroma key or operator.
At Point Blank Online, you've got two methods of interaction with your tutor. Firstly, you've got the weekly online masterclass, which is in real time. And then also we've got feedback on your assignments, and that's known as DVR. So the online masterclass is a one hour session you get with your tutor every week. You can ask questions about lesson content and get instant feedback and also demonstrations on the fly from their computer desktop with our streaming technology. DVR stands for Direct Video Response and the concept is really simple. You upload your Ableton Logic or Cubase project file to your tutor. He downloads it and then pushes record on the screen capturing software and evaluates your work. So basically giving you one-to-one -one feedback. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. We have found the DVR process has truly revolutionized the way that we teach online and the results speak for themselves. Book your place on a course now by visiting pointblankonline.net.